And two school districts are part of this 22 page lawsuit and those districts feeling they've been left out of the negotiations for way too long. It's a beautiful development. We're excited about it. We just want to make sure that we can get our schools built inside of this development. Hoping to make that happen, the Santa Rita Union School District has filed this lawsuit against the city of Salinas, claiming the environmental impact report is insufficient and doesn't adequately anticipate the impact the huge development will have on the district. Underlying theme here, the district wants to purchase land to build the school within the proposed development, but they're hitting a roadblock. But we got to get answers. We can't just keep having, well, we can't do it now. We can't serve you now. We can't sell it to you now. We just want to know what, when we're going to be able to purchase that site. Like I said, the state has already approved the funding. We're going to get it in March, and we want to buy the property. And we were told that, they, you know, that the developers don't own the property. More than 4,000 homes are going to be built on the north end of Salinas. A new high school has already been built, but three lower grade schools also need to be built. The Salinas Union High School District is also a partner in the lawsuit. In a statement, they said the district has not been included in any negotiations with the developers over the past three years. And there has been a generalized feeling that school district concerns do not matter. We want to be part of it. We're not asking for uh, anything other than answers and, and a chance to make sure that we can build neighborhood schools for neighborhood kids. Now, the city attorney uh, for Salinas, Chris Callahan, said late this afternoon the city is confident in its approval of this project, and it is unfortunate that this may delay the construction of some much-needed affordable housing in Salinas, according to Chris Callahan, city attorney. But again, the superintendent, Tim Ryan, making it very clear the district supports the project, as does the Salinas Union High School District. They're not looking to stop it or delay it. They just want some answers regarding the land they hope to build those schools. On. A dramatic step for them to take, Felix. So they must really feel very strongly that this is the only way they can get the city's attention. That's right? exactly what it is. They hope this lawsuit will get some people. What eventually may happen is going to end up in some negotiations. Some answers may come out, and finally, they might feel that they're going to be uh, have a seat the at the process. negotiating table. Right. So, All right. Thank you, Felix. Yeah. The Santa Rita School District has scheduled a town hall meeting for next week, outlining the lawsuit and the development. It will take place next Thursday, the 23rd, at McKinnon Elementary School. That meeting gets underway at 6 p.m.